It's so quiet out here. I literally love the fair. This is like, damn. There's a lot of memories on this stage. I was like just thinking back in my head that I feel like I spent the COVID summer, so to say, like on this stage a lot. Like I remember journaling here, drawing, like listening to music on the phone with, you know, my friends, ex-girlfriend, like crazy. That was only three years ago now. And I was like thinking back cause like that three year ago time, like a lot of people might not know this. Like, I feel like they just see like the now and what's going on. But like, there was a huge like period of struggle in my life where I was fighting like eating, like eating disorders, uh, anorexia, bulimia. And I was like caught in this identity of being a bodybuilder and like having to like look a certain way, post on Instagram, not training for fun, like overdoing cardio, all these things that I was like making a mistake, like doing and going through a breakup and withdrawing. Like I literally dropped out of my master's program. I withdrew because I couldn't like stand the idea of being an online student. And just like being here reminds me of that time period three years ago. And I want to say like three year later version of myself comes here as like a place to kind of let go of stress. And I think I was like trying to do the same thing when like I was in that time frame where I was struggling. And I really want to share this with you just because it's only been three years and like everything that's happened was just like a matter of taking control and like pursuing a better version of me working really hard on like not only myself to like make myself the best version that I could be today, but also like working on my dreams and my goals and my, like my mission. Like I knew that I could help people. I knew that I wanted to, and it was actually on this stage that I started posting again on my Chris Werbin physique account because it was brought to my attention that like, that's my passion and helping others. And that's what lights me up. That's what makes me happy. And I remember my ex-girlfriend was like, dude, you got to get back to doing what you love. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, you have to get back on Instagram. Cause there was a period where I just like went silent on it for probably like six months because I was fighting so much in my head. And you know, when the vision of legacy came around, like I was, you know, in the basement working with Connor and them. And that was like just starting up. And I always like aspired to be like Christian Guzman. And like, I'm not saying that I'm him. I'm not saying that I'm anywhere close to where I want to be, but fuck, like I look at what we're doing now and I'm just like so proud of how far we've come. And it's really crazy to think about that in three years. Cause three years feels like it, I feel like it feels like a nanosecond in your life. Like three years ago feels like just yesterday. And like to go from like a point where you're absolutely struggling, like identity, like messed up eating disorders losing what you thought was the love of your life all of that to like where i'm at now and it just goes to show guys like when you're feeling defeated and you're feeling like you're down like you can overcome that and it's just like a matter of pulling yourself out of the mud putting in the work and like finding out what really makes you happy what do you love to do like don't get caught in the in, in like the i want to say like expectations of others to like do a certain thing like you can literally do whatever you want and anything that you put your mind to. So I don't care where you are right now. You could be in a really good spot. You could be struggling, but what lights you up? Like go after it and work on yourself. Like you're the most important project you could ever work on. Like whether it's spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, relationships, whatever it is, work on yourself. Like strive to be better at all of those things. Strive to be a better person, to do more with your life. Like this is our one and only life. And I'm so passionate about making the most of it, making the most of every opportunity, making the most of every relationship, everything that you do, like anything you put your name on, you should be proud of, you should respect it, you should do with all of your abilities. And if you do it and do it and do it and work on yourself and work on your passions and follow your dreams, I promise you that anything can become possible. Anything can come true and you can overcome every single obstacle in the way. So I love this place. I mean, it's Sunday night and it just got me fired up being here. And Things change and I just couldn't be more blessed. I couldn't be more thankful. So let's have ourselves a week. I love you all. Stay locked in and feel free to reach out to me. Like if you're struggling or need help, like call me, text me. Like I'm here for you. Like I promise I understand. So love you guys. That's what my passion is. It's helping others, it's being there for others. It's making them better people. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. Much love. Catch you guys tomorrow.
All right, what's going on everybody? Happy Monday, May 8th, 2023. It's currently 8 a.m. and I was supposed to have seven hours straight of clients this morning, six to one, but I got an hour off, so I'm gonna hit a quick upper body pump workout, get her in, get her done, and then uh, move on with the day. Busy ass Monday. physique update, outdoor mirror. These things are freaking sick. I'm so happy with how they turned out. What a cool like addition to the club. I know people are gonna be loving making content in these and I was watching a reel by Christian Guzman and Christian was saying how like his whole intention was to put like mirrors and posing rooms and all this stuff everywhere because it's just content, content, content being produced when you have like unlimited areas to create it. So. This is something that I wanted to make for content creation so like more people would be, I guess like pulled in in order to create content here. So it's huge for marketing and we need it for the business. Daddy. <laughs> Just go to Chipotle with the boys. Oh yeah, Chipotle upstate. Yeah. yeah, he got about half his hours in at upstate. That's all right though. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. Wait, Trey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. What is something that Chris has taught you during your time as an intern? Jeez. A lot of good gems, I'm sure. We got some really deep talks. Let me pick one. Probably come for the shake, stay for the bowls. <laughs> wow, balls deep. Come for the shake. Stay for the balls. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that I go there's some the deeper stuff than that, but it's all right. There's a little camera shot back there. Two balls deep. Why not? Hey, Natalie. How about these balls? That's the highlight yeah. right there. That one didn't make the cut though. No, it was in there. Yeah, but not the one that was like oh, wild. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That one you're gonna have to Filthy see. Filthy animal. You can actually find that one on www.onlyfans. Slap. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's Feet Finder. Onlyfans.com. Uh, OneBillyBalls.com. <laughs> Still got a lot of kisses left. So should we just make it a food video right here? What's going on? We're going to bowl hole. We're going two bowls deep at upstate. No, at uh, Can't wait to eat all this meat up. What's going on, everybody? Chicken out past store, please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Would you say the norm? 
Thank you. Thank you. And Until the contract's up, so like four, I'm gonna do a four-year contract, and if I like it that much. All right, so we went to Chipotle, and then we came back, and shit just went like all night long with clients. So it's currently eight o'clock, wrapping it up for the day. I feel like this has been like a like a weird day, like not a typical Monday, just all over the place. I'm actually excited for tomorrow to be like somewhat normal, and. I think it's going to be a really exciting day, so stay tuned, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This week's going to be epic. Peace out. Much love, fam.